now I, I, I give the door to my colleague, Pau Garcia, to go into detail in the different topics. Hello, morning, everybody. Uh, well, my name is Pau Garcia. I work with Natalie and Gordon on, on the area of uh, energy efficiency in buildings. And before starting with the uh, explaining each one of, of the challenges, I would like to uh, repeat what Gordon said before about the fact that um, the approach this uh, for Horizon 2020 is a challenge-based approach. This means that um, the challenge is very open, and what really matters is your response to these challenges, your understanding of, of these challenges. So again, we cannot uh, provide with um, the type of pre proposals that we used to do in the past. Uh, what matters now is um, to this challenge. So the first challenge is uh, EE1, manufacturing of prefabricated modules for renovations of buildings. This is uh, an innovation action. The, this challenge responds to the need to renovate the current building stock. And, uh, it, it should be done in a way that, uh, to develop and demonstrate um, prefabricated modules products for building renovations. These include facades, renewable energies, and uh, also HVAC systems. So the whole thing, not just the facade. It's in here to remember that although this is the energy efficiency, uh, the energy efficiency change, and in particular for the area of buildings, uh, and for us it's just not possible to separate renewable energies from energy efficiency. Although en renewable energies are covered in other areas of the horizon 2020, for things we can still accept renewable energies on site because um, to start with we have two European directives that require that buildings have minimum levels of renewable energies installed. So it's important to remember. The goal of this challenge is mainly demonstration activities, so we want to see the development and demonstration of workable products. And the impact um, needs to be defined in terms of energy savings in the uh, renovations, reduction of the cost and time for installation, all to bear in mind uh, issues uh, such as durability of the solutions and the fact that these solutions have to be able to be taken out afterwards. And also important, what is the likely impact in the, uh, on the building stock? The totals for this uh, challenge are between 5 and 7, and the deadline is the 20th of March 2014. So very soon, in less than a month, actually. The challenge is uh, building design for new highly energy performing buildings. Um, this challenge responds to the need of um, developing parts for new energy buildings. New energy buildings, as defined by the European Directive, uh, Highly uh, um, energy efficient buildings in which the uh, low running energy demand levels are covered by renewable energies. The specific definition at national level is still to be implemented in the next year or so. So, um, and proposed responding to this uh, to this challenge should take this into uh, into consideration. The challenge in this case is to develop and develop uh, solutions and demonstrate the feasibility. With the, uh, with the aim mainly to reduce cost by 2020 and 2020 for new for new general buildings and 2018 for new public buildings. So maybe we are looking for development and demonstration projects, and uh, we see that this is a these are workable solutions. The only impact that we want to see is um, that we want to see an increase in the number of new energy energy buildings before the deadline of 2020 for new new general buildings and before the deadline of 2018 for new public buildings. The, well, the technology readiness level for this case is between 5 and 7, and this is important. The deadline is 9th of December 2014. So this is not uh, in less than a month. Usually we have um, 10 months to develop these, these kind of proposals. The next, uh, the next challenge is uh, about energy strategies and solutions for deep renovation of historic buildings. Um, we have many, many historic buildings in, in Europe, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a big challenge to actually manage to renovate them because there are conservation measures and also because in many cases it's just very, very difficult to implement any new, any new measures. So um, important here, I just realized there is a small mistake. Um, this is actually not an innovation action, but it's a search and innovation action. So please uh, take this into consideration. Um, this mistake will be, uh, will, uh, um, 
will be fixed before we publish the um, the, uh, the presentation in the uh, in the website. The challenge is to de develop innovative, affordable, uh, and non-invasive solutions to be applied into historical buildings. Again, uh, this can be things about uh, facade, such as insulation. Uh, it can also be monitoring technologies and systems, or it can be about integration of renewables or HVAC systems. Important here, uh, two things. They have to be reusable solutions because of the nature of historical buildings. And, and also, the other important thing is to understand the definition of historical buildings, which is entirely up to the um, up to, up to the construction to to define what they understand by historical buildings. In this case, though, um, we would like to highlight that historical buildings are not just um, big buildings such as cathedrals, castles, or museums, where you can't actually do that much to the uh, to the building. But we are talking about general buildings uh, occupied by um, by the public. It can be agencies, it can be blocks of buildings from the beginning of the 20th century, but they have a certain historical value and value needs to be retained. The scope of this project is to develop the effectiveness of the, uh, sorry, to develop these technologies and, the dem and demonstrate their effectiveness and uh, prove that this can be replicated. The fact is, is uh, defined um, has, uh, in how can this be implemented and what is the likelihood the likely impact in the building stock. The deal is between four and six, and the deadline is the 20th of March 2014. So again, this one is uh, in less than a month. And I will give the floor to Natalie Clicot, who will uh, continue with the uh, construction skill challenge.